Hello guys, welcome to our next video of the series where we are discussing about different exams. If you want to master's program in any foreign university, mein, for example in US, Canada, Europe or Australia, ki institutes are very famous institutes. If you want to master's degree in a master's degree program, karna chahte ho, then this GRE exam is very important for you. In this video, we will discuss in detail about the GRE subject test. तो लास्ट वीडियो में हमने कवर किया था जीआरई जनरल टेस्ट अगर आपने वो वीडियो चेक आउट अभी तक नहीं की सो यू प्लीज गो एंड चेक इट आउट सबसे पहले अगर आपने हमारा चैनल अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल शेयर आवर वीडियोस अगर आपको हमारी वीडियोस काफी इंफॉर्मेटिव लगी हो एंड देयर इज आल्सो अ टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज देयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल एज़ वेल तो जैसे आपको पता है दिस जीआरई सब्जेक्ट टेस्ट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथमेटिक्स तो आपके लिए ये वाला एग्ज़ाम काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट होगा अगर आप अमेरिका या यूके या ऑस्ट्रेलिया और कनाडा जाना चाहते हो तो दिस जीआरई सब्जेक्ट टेस्ट कैन गिव ए कम्पिटिटिव एज इन द एडमिशन प्रोसेस येस तो ये जी स्कोर टेस्ट काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज सम ऑफ द ग्रेजुएट प्रोग्राम्स they specifically consider this GRE score as a part of their admission criteria and this will be even important if you are applying for any fellowship or scholarship for your master's degree therefore it's important to note the specific benefits of taking this subject test which might vary depending on the different field of studies or different institutions so I would suggest you to check their particular website before going or before applying for these exams so tell you shuru karte hain i will give you some general information ki chemistry ke exam mein aapko around 130 130 multiple choice questions aayenge you will also get some additional information which will include a periodic table uh, a table for physical constants and some conversion factors for the si units but this exam mein aapko calculators ya uh, log tables leke jana allowed nahi hai and agar kisi bhi question mein aapko logarithms ke bare mein koi bhi uh, problem puchi jati hai then those questions will include the required values so uski aapko chinta karne ki koi zarurat nahi hai you just better focus on the your concepts ताकि टेस्ट के टाइम अगर आपसे कोई भी क्वेश्चन पूछा जाए तो यू हैव अ सफिशेंट नॉलेज टू सॉल्व दैट क्वेश्चन अगर मैं परसेंटेज ऑफ द कंटेंट एरियाज के बारे में बात करूँ तो अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर वेबसाइट दे हैव इंक्लूडेड दैट द एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री पार्ट विल बी अराउंड फिफ्टीन परसेंट द इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री पार्ट विल बी अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड फिजिकल chemistry and organic chemistry part would be 30% each so do consider this information which is given on their website so that you can fully utilize your time during your preparation and then have mathematics mathematics ke exam mein aapko approximately 66 multiple choice questions aayenge which uh, will be typically based on the your undergraduate level courses and according to their website in the content uh, of the questions 50% of the questions will be based on the calculus and 25% uh, will be on algebra and, and the rest 25% uh, questions will be on the additional topics which you have already covered in your undergraduate degree so now agar physics ki baat kare then this test will consist of approximately 100 questions jisme aapko 5 choices mein se ek choice jo correct choice hai wo choose karni hai and and you can also ha uh, see some questions which are in a group so that you have to analyze some graphs, some diagrams or experimental data and the main objective of the test is to assess your understanding of fundamental concepts of physics Aapko koi bhi question answer karne ke time apne undergraduate physics ki degree mein jo aapne padha hai usi ki related answer karna hai and the test primarily utilize the international system of units so isi liye aapko hamesha SI units mein answer dena hai uh, unless it is asked to give the answer in the CGS units, Hamesha aap SI units may questions ko solve karoge. So according to their website, so again according to their website, aapko classical mechanics ka part kafi zada dikhega, which will be around 20% in the test, and then electromagnetism will be around 18%, optics and wave phenomena is around 9 to 10%. And then thermodynamics and statistical mechanics is again around 9 to 10 percent. 
uh, then quantum mechanics will be around 12 percent uh, atomic physics will be around 10 percent and uh, special relativity and laboratory methods will be around six percent each and the other specialized topic uh, will be around nine percent so if you are preparing then you have to consider all the topics you have to obtain good marks because this cutoff is very high jati hai, and for to obtain uh, good marks you have to practice a lot so this test will also include questions on mathematical methods and their applications in physics so there are many topics such as calculus coordinate systems uh, vector algebra Fourier series partial differential equations yes partial differential equations are very important and in please take jana thodi practice karke jana so that you can obtain good marks in this exam and the fourth test is psychology so in this test there will be around 200 multiple choice questions and there will be many questions related to analyzing the relationships analyzing principles or drawing some conclusions from data and evaluating research designs so if I tell you in summary mein according to the website that the content will include around 17 to 21 percent of biological 17 to 24 percent of cognitive 12 to 14 percent of social and 12 to 14 percent of developmental and rest uh, clinical and uh, measurements methodology and others will include 15 to 19 percent each so ye sare topics aapko aayenge do check the syllabus before you are preparing for these exams kyunki exams kafi vast hoga you cannot prepare each and every topic in this uh, very short interval to aapko main yehi suggest karunga the website is given in the description you can go and check the all the information in their website uh, so that you obtain a good marks in this exam 